we are going to look at past paper revisions so in this lesson we'll focus on june 2016 paper one so this is our paper in the duration here is two hours 30 minutes two hours 30 minutes is 150 minutes so 150 minutes is allocated for 100 marks so this means uh, it's 1,5 minutes per each mark so you must be able to answer uh, questions with one mark in less than 1,5 minutes let's dive into the first question 1,4 plus 0, 0,04 we rearrange 1,4 plus 0, 0,04 these are tens these are tens then hundreds so we we arrange according to place values so here there's no value it means there is a zero we put a zero there then we add zero plus four four plus zero one plus zero so this will give us one comma four four this will be our final answer then part b five and a quarter divided by three and a half we convert this to improper fractions then we multiply making this an inverse so this is between 1 over 4 divided by 7 over 2 between 1 over 4 times this becomes 2 over 7 then we cross divide 2 into 2 is 1 24 is 2 7 into 7 is 1 7 into 23 is into 21 is 3 so this will give us 3 over 2 which is 1 and a half when uh, simplified to mixed fractions then on number 2 number 2831,095 to decimal place we count the number of decimal places 1 2 then we look to the next number if it is 5 or more if it is 5 or, or more it affects our number so this 9 it becomes 10 so this will be 31,10 there should be two uh, decimal places even if it is a zero then to two significant figures we first look at the first two numbers and see if they uh, the next number will affect this number this last digit so this is zero it won't affect and there's a comma so this becomes that one the two significant figures then on part b recurring this more than over 30 so 13 to 7 is 0 comma 13 to 7 is 2 remainder 10 13 to 100 is 3 Number 10, so we keep on uh, uh, having 10 as a remainder, then dividing 13 to that will give us 333. Three, three. So these are recurring numbers. So we express re uh, recurring numbers as 0, 0,2, 3. This sign shows that 3 is recurring. So that's how we express recurring decimal fractions. Then on number 3, it is given that 0, 1, 8, 27 are a pattern. Uh, state the next term of the pattern. So we consider the uh, the numbers here. Uh, what type of numbers are here? 1, 8, and 27. These are all perfect cubes. So these are all perfect cubes. So we can use 0 to the power 3 is 0, 1 to the power 3 is 1, 2 to the power 3 is 8. 3.3 is 27 so that's the pattern so these are perfect cubes so the next term must be perfect cube in order 1 2 3 then 4 to power 3 that's 64 so this 64 will be our answer then for part b uh, length h measured to one the small place is given as 9.5 centimeters state its limits so the limits uh, this number was rounded to to arrive at 9,5 so the minimum number we can round off to 9,5 and the maximum number we can round back to uh, 9,5 so this will be 9,45 less or equal x x being the height here at 9,54 so you can see that 9,45 can be rounded to 9,5 then 9,54 can be rounded to uh, 
5 so these are the limits of accuracy they are all correct so the numbers are a uh, force in this range so that we can launch the number to 9,5 then number 4a factorize x squared minus 1 over 36 so this uh, uh, this is a difference of two squares so the difference of two squares is given by x squared minus b squared so we we express it as x minus b then x plus b so here a b must be a, a root so we find the root of this so this will be x squared minus 1 over 6 squared so if we square 1 over 6 we return back to 1 over 36 so this will power b 1 over 6 will power b so our expression will be x minus 1 over 6 x plus 1 over 6 so this will be our final answer then on part b we want to remove the brackets so we break the first bracket here for a plus b let's break a uh, bracket for a then we multiply each term in this bracket by this bracket so for a 5 minus 3 b in bracket plus b 5 a minus 3 b in bracket then expand brackets 4a times 5a this will give us 20 squared minus uh, 12ab plus 5ab minus 3b squared then we group the like terms and simplify 20a squared will remain 20 squared then minus 12ab plus 5ab this can be simplified this will be minus 7ab then minus 3b squared so Number five, we are going to solve this simultaneous equation. So, solve this simultaneous equation 6y minus 3x equals to 1, 3x plus y is equals to 13. So, we look for similar terms on equation 1 and equation 2. So, we can see that 3x, there's 3x here, there's 3x here. So, we rearrange to match these numbers. So, 6y minus 3x equals to 1, then y was positive plus 3x is equals to 13. So here since this is a negative, this is a positive, we add, if the signs are different, we add. So we want to eliminate x here. So 6y plus y is 7y, minus 3x plus 3x is 0, then 1 plus 13 is 14. So we divide by 7, both sides, so this makes our y 2. Then we return to the first equation and replace y with 2. So 6 times 2 minus 3x is equals to 1 so 12 minus 3x is equals to 1 12 minus 1 this one comes to the left then minus 3x goes to the right to become positive so 12 minus 1 is 11 so 11 is equals to 3x we divide by 3 both sides so this makes our x 3 and the 2 thirds number 6 it is given that a universal set is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A is a set of prime numbers and B is a set of factors of 12. So list the elements of A. So we are going to list prime numbers from this bracket. The smallest prime number is 2, then followed by 3, then 5, 7. So our A will be 2, 3, 5, 7. Then A intersection B. Let's first list the elements of B. Factors of 12 are 1. Um, 2 there's 2 here there's 2 here for a in the second b will be 2 3 then so uh, you can see that there's 2 here there's 3 here then you are going to find the number of elements in a union b complement so a union b complement Let's write the A union B first. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So A union B complement means what is not found in this bracket but in the universal set. So there is 0, there is 8, there is 9. So number of elements in this uh, set is 3. Uh, let's note that we do not this uh, we do not put this in braces or set brackets. Then number 7, 1 to expand 1, 2, 3, 4, base 5 in powers of 5. So we expand considering the place values 0, 1, 2, 3. 
So it's 1 times 5 to the power 3 plus 2 times 5 to the power 2 plus 3 times 5 to the power 1 plus 4 times 5 to the power 0. So we've expressed this in the powers of 5. So this will be our final answer. Then for part B, evaluate. So we want to eat this. We first convert them to base 10. This is the easiest method. Let's convert them to base 10. Then eat them in base 10. Then we'll return to base 2. So let's convert them. Place values 1 times 2 to the power 3 plus 0 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power 0. But this will give me 11 since here it's 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. This will give me 11. Then for the second, this will give me 4 plus 2 plus 1. This will be 7. So 11 plus 7 is 18. Then we convert 18 to base 2 so we divide 20, 18, 9, 7, 20, 9, 4, remainder 1, 20, mm, 4, 2, remainder 0, 20, 2, 1, remainder 0, 20, 1, 0, remainder 1 then we read down upwards so it's 10010 10, 10, base 2 so this will be our final answer number 8 so 5 liters in cubic centimeters this means uh, cubic centimeters are equal to milliliters so let's see how many milliliters are in 0.5 liters so 0.5 liters will be 500 milliliters since milliliters are equal to cubic centimeters so it will be 500 cubic centimeters then on part b a woman earning 275 dollars a day salary increased by 5% calculating salary so we are adding 5% to his salary we just add here the salary was 100%, so we had 5%, so this becomes 105 over 100 times 275. Then we simplify 1,05 times 275. Remember, you do not use calculator, so we must use the principle of decimal multiplication to find 288,75. Then number 9, function of x is equals 1 over x squared. Therefore, the function of minus 3 we replace x by minus 3, 1 over minus 3 squared, therefore it's 1 over 9. Then on part b, values of x when function of x is equal to 1, so we are going to equate 1 over x squared is equal to 1. Therefore, simplify, we multiply both sides by x squared by x squared, therefore it's x squared is equal to 1. Then we put square roots, square root will give us two answers, plus or minus 1. So x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1. Number 10, given that x is equal to a q squared, so here we want to make a q the subject here. Therefore, let's uh, fit out q here. So fit out q squared. Then we are left with a plus b in the bracket. Then we divide both sides by a plus b. So here yeah, we are left with q squared, then we put a square root. Therefore our q will be square root x over a plus b. Number 11, if we varies joint less h and less the square of r, this means if we varies joint less h, jointly we multiply here, then r squared, therefore put a constant. I required to write down the equation connecting VRH and the constant C. So if C is our constant, then H, then R squared. So this will be our final answer. Then on part B, we substitute our V, it's 440, our C remains C, then our H is 35, our R is 2 squared. Therefore, 35 times 4 is 140. Then we divide both sides by 140 and reduce to lowest term. Therefore, this will be 22 over 7, which is 3 and the 7th. Then for number 12, we want to solve this inequality minus 2. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4x, minus 2 times minus 7 is positive to 14, then uh, greater than equal to 38, then we rearrange, we take our 
algebraic term to the right to remove the negative then we take 38 to the left so it's 40 minus 38 greater than equal to 4x then we divide by 4 both sides and this will give us x uh, minus 6 greater or equal to x so we rearrange so x less or equal to minus 6 will be our final answer then we represent this one in number line so this will be our um, minus 6 since 